Hello everybody. Uh, right now I'm in the beautiful and tragic city of Kiev, Ukraine. In a park. I arrived this morning by overnight train and they're really uncomfortable. I didn't get much sleep and I thought I would cheer myself up by talking about two of my favorite things, bitcoins and economist Ludwig von Mises who incidentally was born in Lviv where I began my journey in Lviv, Ukraine back when it was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So much is made of uh, Mises' regression theorem. As I understand it, uh, one of his many intellectual breakthroughs was, uh, was breaking out of the, the circular explanation of prices, what's something worth. Well, pants are worth $35. Why? Because $35 are worth a pair of pants. And uh, he, he just took this linearly back in history where prices are based on yesterday's prices are based on the prices the day before that uh, all the way back. So the dollar, for example, is valuable because it was valuable yesterday because it was valuable the day before that. You follow that back because it was valuable because gold was valuable that yelling those are the chess players chess is a contact sport here in Kiev I hope this wind doesn't mess up the sound anyway so there's a lot of skepticism among Austrians for bitcoins because they seem to have arisen out of nowhere and 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 uh, Robert Murphy who I think even though he's kind of a household name I think doesn't get enough credit I think he's a genius and deserves more attention but he lays out the debate in a video that I'll link to um, how, how a lot of uh, Austrian economists are saying that it's either bitcoins or Mises's regression theorem and he, he lays out that debate really well um, in other words bitcoins contradict Mises's regression theorem um, but I don't think that's true I think people don't see the commodity don't see the um, the val the the valuable thing that backs bitcoins because they're looking for a commodity, and bitcoins are backed by a service. The day before bitcoins arrived on the scene, I was willing to pay 35 bucks for international wire transfer. I was willing to pay a one and a half percent for PayPal transactions. I was merchants were willing to pay 2.9 percent for credit card transactions. So the thing that backs bitcoins and makes them consistent with the regression theorem is not some commodity, but it's a service. And that's what makes it hard to spot for all these people who are used to commodity money and looking for a commodity backing, which bitcoins do not have. I'm really curious what the academic sorts uh, say about this idea. I don't know if it'll reach them because who am I, right? But uh, perhaps uh, if there is something to it that Bitcoins are a money backed by a service, then, uh, then perhaps there's still one little paradox to solve. You know, you need to change your money into Bitcoins so that they could provide this service, so they need some additional value. It can't be zero. You know, because if it's zero, then Bitcoins are unable to provide a service. Bitcoins can only provide the service of transporting money, transporting wealth, if they have some value, no matter how small. Even if they're worth one penny, you can buy them and then transport them very easily to anywhere in the world instantly or beyond the world, as long as aliens have an internet connection. But the paradox is, how do you lift it from zero to one? Because they can't provide that service at zero. And But I think that's really easy. They do have some value just as a, a work of philosophic and logical art. So there you go. Bitcoin's regression theorem. Well, I'm curious if anyone has any, any comments. Uh, <clears throat> both uh, rants and raves are welcome. Please let me know what you think. Cheers.